You know something, you know something, Joe? Really, I mean, I, I really believe that the music business really has not changed that much because, because you, you know, you have music and, it's, and it goes along and people try and put things in boxes and they say, man, okay, this is a soul band, this is a hard rock band, this is a heavy metal band, this is a blah, blah, blah. And then Kurt Cobain comes out and does this thing. What year? And all of a sudden, well, 90, what, year? 90, what year? Yeah. 91, wasn't it? Yeah, that was nine and a half well, years I ago. Well, I know, but it takes, it's a cyclical thing. It's a, it's a, it's a ten year hang, isn't it? That's what I've always been told. But I mean, really, nothing but, has come along but, since Kurt Cobain. Well, yeah, but it's wait till 2001, 2002, something's on its way. I mean, the 80s was, was big hair band rock, you know, and great musicianship. Guitar players, man, all over the place. But you the still 90s had it. It's like we don't want that anymore. But you and, still and, had it. And, and you even still though, and, and nobody was ready for it. No, who was who was ready for for Kurt Cobain? I mean, who who was ready for this band? Um, uh, oh, they're they're huge now. Um, there was a guy that, that in Los Angeles that had these kids signed. They're from Santa Ana. They made an album for nothing, and and they just went huge. They're called the Offspring. The Offspring, man, are a very, very original band. They have an original sound. They got a singer that sounds like nobody. They write tunes that sound like nobody but else. But they don't have a song but like Teen Spirit. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't because yeah, I. Yeah, they got that tune. They got that. They got a couple of songs. But Teen, really good no, stuff. Teen Spirit went so across the board that everyone knew it. Just like Sweet Child of Mine went across the board and everyone knew it. You know why Teen Spirit was a great song? You know why Teen Spirit was a, well? I mean, there were reasons, but 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 when I heard Teen Spirit. It was this, it was, I had the exact same feeling the first time I heard Roxanne. And I said, man, why didn't I think of this? When you listen to that melody on that, uh, in Teen Spirit, I mean, as a musician, you, you listen to that and you, you look at that and you go, this, this was, this is, this is what, this is a great, great, great singable melody who knows the words to that song probably nobody but when you hear that melody man it just makes you go yeah it's just a great melody well nirvana were a much better band than people gave them credit for oh well i i think people do give them a lot of credit well uh, i think people give nirvana a lot of credit for being a very very great band i sure do man i mean i, I think they were phenomenal songwriting wise that guy was unbelievable uh, even and playing you know, covers like uh, Mano sold the world You've heard that cover by the, on the live album? No, I really haven't. That's, that's a tough Bowie tune. T Bowie would throw, like Ray Davies, Bowie would throw some chords in that are hard to play. Right. And, uh, and, they, and you know, they, they did it. They nailed it. Yeah. That's hard to do. He was an innovative guy, man. You know? I think uh, the drummer at Grohl, the, the band that he's got, uh, is... Foo very, Fighters? Yeah, Foo Fighters. Yeah, it was kind of good tunes, man. Yeah. Those guys were songwriters, man. They were song crafters, you know? I mean, but Kurt Cobain was a songwriter, point. man. The, the song crafters aren't being taken care of by radio, and you've got to have that synergy, and that synergy just isn't there. People are all playing these numbers games like it's politics. I mean, radio, FNX and BCN are acting like Gore and Bush, and they're looking at the polls. <laughs> and, and, and Maggie May didn't break by looking at the polls. You know, it, no. it broke because someone took a chance took on a, a record. Chance. But someone took a chance with Kurt Cobain nine years ago. Some, that, that was on it. Wasn't that, wasn't that Sub album? Pop. Was, wasn't that, was that album on Sub Pop originally, or was that, because they did records before that. I was, think, was, was that their first, I like, major Sub label album? I think picked up, I forget who picked up Sub Pop. What label did they go on to, uh, Warners or something? I, I don't, I don't know. But recall. Sub Pop, yeah, I believe Sub Pop put it out and, and then got picked up and distributed. And so I guess that's the way it has to be done today. You know, or, or that's the way it was done in nine years ago, and probably, you know, I mean, nowadays, you can make a CD in your basement and burn the things and put them in a thing and get them shrink wrap and a cost you peanuts and go to gig and, you know, it used to be that bands had to go fight to get a record contract. We need a recording contract to make our album because they couldn't press vinyl pieces of vinyl and package them and get them to... The covers alone were, were killer. Nowadays, the nowadays... The cardboard. Remember yeah. the cardboard yeah. would cost 35 yeah. cents? You know. So nowadays, everybody out there can spend peanuts and make this. And know? also, people, if you want to know...